Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I know somebody asked me to move my name uh, to show the game clock, but I, uh, I just, I'm not going to because it's a pain because I record several different games and I have to be moving it around all the time. So no, sorry. Um, anyway, um, we are going to do stuff. We have a million kabillion things that we need to do. So first of all, we do have enough silicon, I think for a tiny bit in order to make these blue chips and stuff. We actually have cool stuff working like fractionators. Yes, we can actually get some deuterium now. Once we set those guys up, we have chemical plants making, we have more oil stuff going. Uh, so we're in a pretty good position mall wise. I feel, um, we are kind of moving into getting the, the, uh, we need to get the matrix. Where's that new matrix? Did we, did we get it already? Hold on. No, we didn't get the yellow matrix yet. It is somewhere here. Where is it? Oh, there it's right. It's, it's right there. Structure matrix. Now we are working on this stuff. High strength crystal. I think we need to delete all these other random things and just work toward yellow science. Uh, because I feel like that's super important for what we need to do. Um, let me go and add some more back because I'm sure that we just need to make everything. We basically need to make everything right now. And I'll just put all these things queued up so that they can get working and we can kind of move forward. Now the proliferator stuff, did we get, we did get proliferator mark two. All we need for that is diamonds. So guess what? We are going to have even better paint. I love this. Like, this is like paint with like chip resistance or something. <laughs> so that is going to start by, uh, I think we really want to actually, I don't want to add any more paint here at all. I think we need to just do this and release the paint from that container. And now here we're going to add some diamond. And I guess what we do is I think we're just going to take these off and we're going to change, change this a tiny bit. So that's fine. Can I do, could do this. Can I just do like an exit thingy from one of these? No angle too steep, angle too steep. No, why pain? So I can actually build this whole thing. Um, what I do want to do though, is I want to, I need to make the diamond first and diamond of course is made. I think it's just made in a regular smelter if I remember correctly. So let's get our, our miners here on this coal. That's a good thing to do. Okay. Good, good, good. Not that we need huge amounts of this at all. Um, but let's see, we're going to put this coal or these diamonds here, I think, or something like that. I'm going to do a, we're going to move this that way, I believe, and then put in the green paint on the other line. So this is going to be smelting going on here. I don't know how much we need. We probably don't need much. So let's just put in a few smelters here. Let's do six. Uh, actually what we can do is just copy one of those other lines. Uh, that would be easier. I already put these in. So I'm going to put in one, two, three, and another one there. So the coal's going to come in on this line, diamonds out on that line, and I'm going to grab one of these and turn it around. And that's how we're going to have our machines. One, two, three, four, five, six, like this, I think. Can I do four and four? Why can I not do four and four? Why is there this three and three silly business? I don't get that at all. That doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Well, whatever. We'll do six then. Uh, it feels like it's like a weird amount for, I guess it's one between, I guess that works. Uh, three and three. That's what a power pole covers. I thought it was every two, but I guess it's every three instead. So uh, I shouldn't have deleted that for one thing. Uh, these also have to be changed into diamonds. So here we go. It is just, no, oh, it's made from the other thing. No. Okay. We have new problems. Ray. Okay. Not a problem. We can do this. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to extend this this away. I don't know what the ratio is. How much? Let's see. These are one. Uh, no, we can't see the recipe. Of course not. So one makes one. And these are two coal makes one of those. And those, the other ones are one to one. So I guess what we could do is just copy this one and just do that. Uh, oh, we are, geez. Okay. Okay. Never mind. You know what? My brain's on holiday. I am not going to participate, brain. Nope. Sorry. You got problems now. There we go. Diamond, diamond. Okay. So what we need to do here is we need to change over these thingies. Doesn't matter. Not really. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This is a bad, bad thing. I'm so bad right now. All right, let's put these in properly. Okay, in from this side out to that side because these are taking up and that's fine. Okay, so this is fine. One more of that and we just don't want to connect it totally. Okay, there we go. Okay, good, good. So this needs to be changed. That's just there. This goes that way and those go this away. Okay. Now we don't actually need those other miners there. We definitely don't. So rotate, there we go, and power, go. Yes. Okay, so what we have is energetic graphite being made and then diamonds being made and then we can have painting happening here. I guess we can paint the coal. Do we want to paint the coal? Is that a thing? Should we paint the coal? I guess, I don't know if that's, I, I don't know, that's weird. We're just going to paint the diamonds. Painting diamonds is fine. We don't need to paint the raw ore. I feel like that that's not a really good use of our materials, really. Okay, so let's delete all of these thingies. And we're going to get this to make green paint. There we go. So it's going to take from this belt now. We're going to have it take from here into there. And this is going to have this. And what is this going to do here? This is still unloading all of this darn paint. Holy fuzzy cats. Uh, I think we need to take it out and just put it in here. Oh no. Oh my God. Stop it. Oh God. Okay. Let's pick up everything. I'm not a very big fan of this vacuum thing. I feel like if you're picking up, it should just pick up everything. It's very silly to me that it doesn't. So let's take this off. And instead, uh, we need to delete this power pole um, and add a few more of these lines here and add this two and three. Okay. And then we add another line here and there we go. Okay. So now we add this to that line, copy. Q. Okay. Boom. And then power poles. Yay. Now this might cause a shift in the painting system of the world. Oh, wow. That's uh, not really what I needed. We don't need that belt there, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. So now we're going to have green paint everywhere. This is kind of cool. I'm guessing we'll have green arrows then. Let's see what this does. Let's see what it does. Oh, this needs to be uh, there. Okay. Wonder if this is going to like fill up as green. Kind of wonder about that. It's a bit short. So it's not actually adding anything. Maybe it doesn't mix the colors. I guess that's a good thing. Shouldn't mix the colors. But anyway, our paint should be pretty good for a while because I don't feel like we use up all that many charges. So the time that was th there was no paint, I don't think we made a big impact. Like right here, look at this. We are we had like five on the line here. So yay, this is cool. And this is how we are gonna extend our painting lines. I believe the next one requires carbon nanotubes. And basically we're just like increasing the carbon in each of our painting situations there. So, all right. Very cool. This is very yay. Very exciting. And, um, what do we need to do next? I guess we're doing research. Let's look in our menu and see what's, what we have. We actually have graphene. 
uh, which we can make right now. I guess that might be a thing that we would want to do uh, kind of soon. What do we need for yellow science? I kind of wonder about this. I keep forgetting what the recipes are. So we need the special crystals and diamonds. So diamonds are quite easy to make. We already know how to do that. Let's look at the tech, not the tech again. We need to look at those. Uh, yeah, tech tree. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Here? No? Where? Uh, no, it's not that. <laughs> it's not that. I don't... Let's see. High strength material. It's not that. It's not that. Oh, we want these. <gasps> we want that, but we need yellow for that. Do we have these? Oh, there it is. Titanium crystals. Hey. All right. So we actually need to go and farm some titanium. Let's go to the other planet real quick. I'm going to stock up on energetic graphite for the road, of course. It's important. Let's take... Oh, not, no, not that many. I didn't mean control. I meant... <laughs> I meant the other button. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Uh, we have lots of belts now. I'm going to take the level two belts as much as possible uh, because we want to just have more, more materials there. Okay. So let's put those back, take those and get all of these. Now let's go and get some smelters and miners. Uh, actually, that's a lot of miners. Okay. Can we actually make those transportation thingies yet? Can we make these? Complete! Oh, wowie! Hey, look at that. Nice. I want to make some. How do we make those? I think we need to start with the pink dumbbells. I don't know how to make those either. Let's see. Let's get those going. Pink dumbbells. Where are they? <gasps> They're not here! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Let's get some of these mushed in there. So we're going to make some cool stuff here. How many of those blue chips do we have? We have 12. I feel like we can... Oopsies. Uh, mm, there we go. Let me go and get some of these blue things. I, I feel like we should have some, right? Are they collecting? Yes, they are here. Hooray! Okay, very nice. And then these processors, I'm going to collect those too. I feel like that is a good idea. Uh, I should get the painted version. So I was going to do this. I don't know if I can though. I think I can. Wait, hold on. If I, especially if I move this belt there, I should be able to put in another inserter there. Yeah. And this will give us a little bit of extra processor power here. This is kind of great. Okay. So E... Yeah, we want all your stuffs. Good, good, good. All right. Um, so those are good. That's cool. We're going to have stuff to make stuff. That's awesome. So I guess we don't need to make processors. Where are those pink dumbbells, though? We definitely need those soon. Okay, so those are after thrusters. I We need the thrusters as well for the planetary logistics system. So... But that is also not the interstellar logistics system. We have to remember that. That is not the same thing at all. Um, so that's that's okay. Let's see. We just got these blue things. So let's put those in there. And I'm going to grab these processors from here and shove them in here. Because we're going to need them in there later, I feel. I'm going to go ahead and put in like glass and this stuff as well. Here we're going to have the steel. And we don't need any coal. I can burn that whenever that comes around. But anything that's not coated in paint, we should probably put it through this painterizer. Painterizer. Maybe I should call it that. <laughs> I don't know. All right. What do we got here? We have we have our graphene and stuff. Let's go ahead and take this out. Oh, whoopsies. Let's put that in. All right. That's fine. We have plenty of belts. We got power poles. We got stuff. Let's look at our star map first. So we are actually going to go off to Pikester Titanium. All right. So they have titanium ore there. They have 150% wind energy. So this is a big wind planet. Let's go and grab some wind mines from them all. All right. Yay. Let's take those and let's go off. Uh, actually, hold on. I like to click the planet. I should have done this. 
Uh, it's actually really nice because it's in our orbit. I like that arrow feature. That was one they added um, actually soon after the game uh, started or was released. And it's really cool. I like this. It's good. All right. Very nice. It is pink. Look at this color. Do we have a lava planet? I don't think we have one. This one is too far, I believe. Holy fuzzy cats, it's pink. That's weird. Okay, so let's look. Somebody told me to look at the blueprint mode to find the ore faster. It is interesting that you can see the ore this way. Uh, I don't know which one's which, though. <laughs> we need titanium. Let's find the titanium here. There's some over there. That looks like a really great place to chat with titanium land. There's another over there, especially for just, just for export. So this titanium, let's check out the recipe for this because I'm not sure how that works. Okay, it's one per second uh, in and half per second out. So if we look at our belts, this is 12 a second and then six a second. So we can do 12 a second in for six out. So let's do that. And that means we can have... 12 a second in. I guess that means 12 machines, right? I think so. All right, and then we'll do one, one, two, three, and uh, that's the out belt. Green is in. So let's get these going. All right, so let's get these going. We need titanium. All righty, and... Let's get our inserters. Now, for these level one smelters, all we need is a basic inserter. We do not need anything higher. That is kind of the most energy efficient. Uh, the other ones, because of the amount of stack size, and that I guess it only applies after you get the stack size, they are actually much more energy efficient than using the middle ones. So you should always use the level threes, unless you have something like this, where you really only need this level of machine. Uh, or, you know, assemblers that don't need a speed boon bonus or things like that. So let's see. Let's get in these guys. Oh, nice. Look at this. Beautiful happiness. So we're looking for... So 12 a second in. We need 24 veins to fill a green belt. So how many do we have here between these guys? This is um, 8... 8 so 16 plus 6 is 24 yeah we have more than enough in just one patch i don't think we're gonna need more than one patch right now so i think this is gonna be enough for a while honestly i think we're good let's take this one up as well there we go Oh, I should have done that one as a three. I mean, as a as a six per second like this. Okay, that is better. All right, very nice. So here, I think this is the land of like, uh, just placing wind mines, basically. Let me do a thing here in which I grab just a bunch of wind mines and just go like this. Can I copy that as ghosts yeah i can look at that that's nice so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab this and say use now and i'm just gonna do lines of these things oh it doesn't tell me if they're too close that's extremely naughty too close okay okay oh no what hello okay so i can right click on it okay oh i clicked them there okay that's cool too close. It's very fiddly. I'm not, uh, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this or not. I guess the, the goal is to get a big square grid instead. Uh, where you would copy like this whole grid. Copy. Just use now, and we can maybe... Can we transfer this elsewhere? Uh, no. 
It just does not. Okay, blueprint is not good here. <laughs> this is not good. I think probably the best is just laying them out like this. Uh, that's probably the easiest thing to do. So blueprint mode with these guys is very bad. But at least we get 150% wind from this place. So that's quite nice. I do feel like we... I, sh I should have been starting solar sails by now, I see. I'm not going to do the run without solar sails, I figure, because this is Dyson Sphere program. And if we don't bother building a Dyson Sphere, we might as well be playing Factorio, right? So I don't see the point of the no solar sails run. I find that to be a very, very, very silly and meaningless kind of uh, a goal or whatever you want to call it. Not a goal, but a, like a, a an achievement. I find it to be a very weird achievement because it, you're not achieving anything. You're basically not building anything. And that doesn't make sense to me as something you're supposed to do. Do the do not, right? Hmm? Does that make sense? No, it does not. Don't make no kind of sense to me. No siree, Bob. Or Margaret or whoever you feel like you are today. All right, let's go here. And I don't know which ones are covered. It's hard to tell. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, good. All right, so how many machines do we have? I think we can do 12 on this line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, miraculously we did it. I think I probably counted that before and I just didn't remember that I did so. Okay, so titanium is happening. So I'll put titanium into a box here, maybe like a too high box, and then just gather. Oh, whoa. What? What was that about? Dude, no. Hello? That was very strange. Okay. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Come on, brain. Brain got to work. I need you to work now. This is your time to work. <laughs> it did it again! What the heck? You stupid thing. I didn't want that. No! Bad! Alright, we need to have a wind mine here as well, I think. Mm. There we go. Just temporarily until I can get the power poles going on. Why is this not working? Colliding with other object. How? Oh, wrong thing, of course. Yeah. Okay, so that is now connected. And that works pretty darn well. Okay, there we go. And we have tons and tons of power here, which is kind of great. We could almost ship accumulators from this planet because of that huge, huge wind energy bonus that we have here. So let's take... Do we have any extra titanium? No. Seems to be going in the belt quite nicely. Just want to grab any extra that we might have accumulating. I think it's all going on the belt now, so that's good. And that means we can take some back to our main planet. Let's see how many we have in here. Uh, while we're waiting, by the way, I do want to charge up my mech suit here. Just have the... Oh, this is not the perfect area. There's a, the, if you, actually, you know what? Let's make the perfect area. There's an achievement for that, actually. Charging by 12 poles at the, uh, at the same time. So let's grab that real quick. Let's do that achievement. Uh, basically, you put them as close as you can to each other. And have like a four square kind of, like almost like a cross shape. And if you stand right in the very center... You can get uh, charged by all of them at once, I believe. Maybe? No? 
How do you do this? Because I feel like I'm in the center of this place. Oh, and now I'm fully charged. <laughs> no, it doesn't work anymore. Dang it. You have to be fast, apparently. Okay, well, we are now fully charged, and that is the way that I should have been doing the charging before. But unfortunately, uh, I didn't. <laughs> and so we had to go without power for a lot of lot of time so anyway let's go ahead and put in some of the wind mines oh wow we only have 24 left that's pretty great actually we have too many painters I don't know why we have so many of them but let's leave maybe a few belts here and a few smelters just in case um, but I think we're kind of ready to go let's let's go home let's go home uh, and bring the titanium with us I think that should be enough to start a few things for now so we're gonna click our our thingy and go back home to Sean all right here we go okay there we go just speed up a bit I'm tempted kind of to pick up some silicon, but we don't really have any uh, inventory space left. So I'm just going to leave it for later and get a full load when we're, when we're there. And I know there's always a comment or two. Hey, cat, why do you have the manual research on? Do you know you can click it off? Yes, I know I can click it off. I like to see the numbers going down. I like to see how many packs we're still working on. Um, and the, the, the circle, yeah, I know that's a progress bar, but I like to see the numbers. Uh, the circle doesn't show the number. It just shows the percentage. Okay, so we are back. We're back and we can make some of those thingy-majingies. So let's get to work on that. Um, we need those titanium crystals. We need organic crystals plus titanium. Uh, organic crystals are made out of plastic, uh, oil, and water. We don't have plastic yet, so we need many, many things to make these titanium crystals. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull up on our calculator. Let me just bring that up for you. There we go. Uh, we're going to get these yellow crystals, and this is what we need. So we're going to need 24 chemical plants making plastic. That's a ton. 24 making organic crystals, 16 assemblers making uh, titanium crystals, 8 uh, machines making diamonds, um, 24 arc smelters making these guys, and then for titanium veins, we need money, many arc smelters making that. We have we need double that actually for this current process. So I should have looked at this before we left, but it's okay. We're gonna we're just gonna do the thing and it's gonna be fine. So anyway, I guess did we get X-ray cracking? I hope we did by now. Let's see. Uh, if we press F, we can look here. Yep, X-ray cracking right there. So if we go back, we can actually get the perfect recipe for red science. So I think I want to do that. I want to go back to this situation here, go back to our oil and change or maybe not change, but add machines for x-ray cracking. Where is the cracking? <laughs> I'm like, where did it go? It has to be somewhere. Uh, wait. Let me just, let me just center out on this. Maybe I'm wrong north. Yep, wrong north. Wrong north happened. Sorry. Uh, but I do want to put down... Actually, I don't have to. I, have, I still have a couple of spaces, so it's not um, an emergency or anything. But anyway, what we can do is we can create more hydrogen with x-ray cracking, and we don't have to rely on on uh, the this at all anymore what we can do is just have that shipped from over there but let me go ahead and look at if we change actually let me just we're gonna we're gonna do something else here we're gonna look at our calculator again and go back to red science because this is important if we change the hydrogen 
uh, from x-ray cracking and change this recipes I want to do x-ray cracking instead so let's see we need 32 doing this and we need 16 doing that so 32 doing x-ray cracking and 16 doing plasma refining and then we'll have a better balance of stuff because before we had more doing other things let's see how many we have all together right now I think what we need to do is just put those refineries I was gonna say up here but then it's like we got all this stone up here so that's not ideal do we have more oil somewhere eh. or I mean more land somewhere I want land where's land I could do it up here maybe just make some refineries doing the x-ray cracking maybe that's what I do okay let's do that instead let's put the refineries up here and do the x-ray cracking here oh wow we're just short on refineries that's un unfortunate let's see let's put let's start it on this line because this is a nice kind of wide line here uh, and we're gonna do x-ray cracking there we go so it takes in refined oil and spits out hydrogen so the idea here is that we want to um let's see it takes in uh hydrogen and oil but we want to make this so that it feeds itself basically i'm going to put in green belts just for safety reasons so we don't have to redo it well i guess we can just upgrade it but anyway let's just do that we have three different items coming in here okay there's our three items now then we're going to put out hydrogen and then take it in that's what we want to do I th wait hold on we need other things though um, we need to output carbon as well oh no I forgot how to do this no I think we need to turn them the, the other way around because we have multiple uh, we have too many products we need four slots so oil refinery oh no hello yeah there we are rotate it this way because we do need a belt on the other side so basically what we want to do here is we'll put in well let's put the byproducts out so let's see we want uh, hydrogen out and hydrogen in and then we take our carbon out okay and then here we're going to do oil in that's what I want to do with this I think oil in okay and so this is gonna be let's see x-ray cracking all right we may have to change how we do some of this on the other sides but we'll see we'll see we might actually have two hydrogen line that's actually not a bad idea but because we have to put them a little bit sideways it's a little bit more space taking so I want to see how this is going to actually function here and how many we can put in a row so that's one two three four five six seven eight okay it's not too bad uh, these take how many are they wide one two three uh, one two three yes okay so let's put in this belt on this side one two three and there okay good now then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on this side except I'm gonna move it just a tiny bit so it doesn't interact with that one so let's get that one there okay very good let's just help our bots by walking this way I want them to finish this belt first so uh, the carbon is gonna come in the middle belt there and then the hydrogen is gonna travel along the two outer belts so this is another eight two three four uh, wait two three four five six seven eight okay so we need <laughs> we, need, we need 32 of these help game why oh, let's see if I can copy these let's let's see if we can blueprint this a tiny bit let's see use now no of course not no oh cry okay it's fine whatever let's see if we did more belts let's see one two three and these go here 
Let's see, these are going to be, we need to do another three belts here. And then one, two, three, and there. Okay. So that's going to be our pattern, I guess. One, two, three, and there. One, two, three, and there. Okay, we'll see how many machines we can fit on this whole thing. We really need some nanobots, man. Faster bots, let's go. <laughs> Where are you? Help. Oi. Uh, but this is fun because that means we can use like splitters to prioritize inputs or outputs for stuff. Um, we'll also be able to generate quite a lot more hydrogen right now with stuff because I think that's probably where we're lacking. Let's see what's going on with the hydrogen situation over here. Do we have enough stuff? Oh, we do. Holy fuzzy cats. All right. So let's, I'm going to go over there. I want to go and, uh, oh, wow. We are out of power again. No. Oh, I should have thought about that. Hmm. All right. Let's just put a couple of power towers here so we can do a little bit of recharging. And meanwhile, I will build a few more of these matrix towers. Oh, we can stack them a much higher now. This is kind of great. Okay, good. I think we need to make these also in a... Uh... Oh, we don't even need more of those over there. All right, so let's see. Power. Let's get rid of these and we want actual power. There we go. Okay, good. So that's going to give us a lot more production of red as well. Okay, let's go down here and uh, keep on working this area. I think part of our problem before was also, again, the bots needing to recharge and stuff like that. So, okay, let's also get this line connected there. Okay, good, good. Lots to do, lots to do. Come on, come on, little bots, let's go. Hurry up. Don't have time to wait around now. Let's go. Let's go. Proceed. But this is such a, this is a really nice upgrade for getting the hydrogen that we need for this stuff. And then of course later you're almost drowning in hydrogen. So this might kind of go away at that point, but uh, you never can tell what we need. If anything, we can always get less from the, uh, from the other methods of getting hydrogen, like from the gas giant and things like that. So, okay, let's grab this again. And we're going to start over here. Good. Very good. Oh, that's beautiful. And it looks like, Ooh, it looks like we also need power. Power might be a problem. It is indeed a problem. Okay. So if we do, Man, this is where I kind of wish we had those Factorio undergroundies and stuff uh, because of uh, just having the ability to, you know, put belts underneath a power pole. That makes things a lot easier. Okay, I think we need one here, maybe. Does that hold this? No, it's like every other, every two we need this. That's unfortunate. All right, well, we're just going to have to do what we're going to have to do, you know? I'm going to put the power pole in the middle, so maybe it will power these other ones. Let's see if that's going to work. Okay, those conflict there. So let's delete... Wait. Let's delete most of these. We can actually copy it from the other section as well. So here we go. Conflicts with that one. That's unfortunate. Okay, there we go, and power pull, and it doesn't fit a second one. That's sad. No, we're losing out on production. Darn it. Okay, let's go here. I think it should be enough if we just go the whole way down here and then the next row can have power poles in it where we can just start that okay like this and then we put a power pole here 
And power pole here. Lack of item? What do you mean, lack of item? I have item! What are you talking about? <laughs> I have... I don't have. Oh no. Alright. Let's go and get some more items then. Ah, uh, no. Slowness. The slowness is overtaking me. No. Wait, what do we need for those, um... What do we need for those thingies again? These. Hydrogen fuel cells? Oh, we need actually hydrogen. And we need titanium. Where's our titanium? Oh, it's still on us. That's right. I forgot. Okay. I want to actually get some hydrogen. And what else? Do we needed the refineries. That's right. And we also need chemical plants for the next part of the build as well. So I'm going to grab those while I'm here. And we need these for something else, which I completely forgot about. And then I'm going to grab one stack of fractionators as well. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here. Let's go. Now then, we're going to just run across the world. Um, oh, I was going to go to my little crafter thing, at least to set up some of the, uh, the energizing of these items. So let's put in a couple of those in there. And then I want to put in, what else? Nothing else needed? I don't think anything else is needed, actually. Okay, I think we're good with that. Wait, what did I need up there? Oh, I just needed more refineries. That's what it was. Okay. So we're actually pretty good with stuff right now. Uh, we can put something in our grass box, these guys. Uh, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, very good. Now then, let's go up here and go back and finish this build. This is quite a big build up here. Do I already have 32? No, I don't think so. Can I possibly have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Wow, we're close. One, we just need four more. One, two. Really? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, and three and four. So there we go. Gosh, that's quite interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, so we have that. So we didn't actually need some of this other stuff over here. Let's put in another power pole right here. So what do we need? We really need to have the oil coming in on these lines, like this one and this one. And this one up here. Hello? That's weird. Not that one. Middle? There it is. Okay, good. So, where is this stuff? It's all the way over there. Gosh, that's going to be a lot of, lot of lines laid. But it's okay. Do we... How much do we need? Let's find that out first. Do we really need this expensive uh, belts or not? Let's see. For each one of these, let's see, plasma or x-ray cracking, we need one every four seconds. So no, we don't need these belts. We can actually downgrade them. Uh, can we do down? So we're going to downgrade this belt, that belt, and that belt. However, what we can do is put in one of these belts. And I'm not going to leave it to chance here. I'm just going to use one of them. Actually, what we can do is put a splitter here. That's what we really need on this. Let's get a splitter like this. Maybe. Actually, I want to do a tabbed one. Like that. Because I'm afraid it won't work very well on the side there. Okay, so we're going to use these other belts, which we don't have any of, apparently. How do I not have any of these belts? Let's go and grab some low-level belts, then. I thought we had more in our inventory. Let's see. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put in some power things where I fill up on stuff. I think that's a good idea. Just, like, randomly have a couple of these big power poles here so that I can add some power just kind of randomly a little bit 
when I'm picking stuff up. It doesn't have to be a lot, it's just a little bit, but it, anything helps really. Okay, so here we go. This is what we're doing here. And what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna feed these manually. Okay, so rotate, go there. This one is out. All right. And then I'm gonna downgrade these ones as well. Because apparently those did not get downgraded. All right, I'm gonna go put it back to upgrade so I don't get confused if weird stuff starts to happen. I'm gonna use a meridian here instead and then just transfer it here with a diagonal. There we go, like this. Because I feel that's more useful. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kickstart this with some hydrogen because I think that that's going to be more useful. Let's see, we're gonna change this back to a meridian or a, yeah, yeah, basically a meridian. Okay, there we go. So let's get some hydrogen in, in our stock. Let's see. Uh, sure, let's take, sure, a bit. We don't need a lot. We basically just need to kickstart the very first machine and anything after that does not need to be kickstarted. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on bots, I expected you to do more by now. Let's go. We can also delete these power poles. Those are the ones that we were trying to like find a way around the North Pole with. And of course that did not work well. Okay, we're out of power again, not ideal. But hopefully, oh, we actually need more hydrogen because we were gonna make those hydrogen canisters, which are so much better than the other things, than, than the energetic graphite. Okay, so we need to kickstart at least one on each line. So I'm gonna take halvesies on some of these and just, just basically fill a machine, one on each line. Uh, yeah, there we are. And you get some as well. There you go. So it's gonna be a bit of a slow process at the very start of this uh, whole thing. But after that, it'll be just fine. So let's take these down. And there we are, nice. So now we have a situation here where we want to, uh, we need to paint this stuff. So let's see, I wanna paint, I guess we paint this before it touches the other stuff because the other stuff is already painted. So let's see, let's get this thing. I wanna do two different splittery do's here or well, two of the same splittery do's really. Rotate, no, no, that one, that one. There we go, we want one here. And then they don't go right next to each other which is a bit unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll just deal. Okay, that's fine. So now we're gonna take two belts down here. And I think I wanna paint them right out here, somewhere like this. And we'll have the painters right around here. Sure. Okay, let's find the paint, of course. Where is that uh, last scene? Last scene over here, that's fine. I'm just gonna take this slow belt as fine as well. So we'll take it up one. We'll go like rotate like this and through. Wait, why is this not? So confused by this. This is like, hello? I, oh, I think it's because the grid changes or something like that. Okay, well, it's fine now. It's fine now. That's all we care about now. So what we're gonna do, let's see. We have the carbon on the outside. Okay, so let's make carbon on the outside and then the other stuff on the inside. So this is going to be 
inside. We need to do an up C on this. So there we go. Uh, an up on this one. There we are. All right, so that's fine. Rotate. I mean, something. Something over there. And then there. Good. Carbon on the outside. Now then, we take the other stuff. Go down. Uh, and this one goes on the inside. Bash, bash. Yo, yo. There we are. Good. Okay, so that's all of this stuff there. So now they are printed. Oh, look at that. They're just swimming so good. Now then, we need to get some storage containers for our liquids or the gas or whatever. We're, we're having, li let's call it liquid hydrogen, shall we? <laughs> Why not? Okay, let's take, oh, let's just do one thing at a time. Let's do this first. Let's take this down. This is our carbon. And what we're going to do here is we're going to connect the carbon into this little structure. Let's see. Let's go down until here and then go up. Okay. And we're going to prioritize the input from here. Uh, I think that works. Let's see. I think they need to build the belt first. I think we need power poles as well. Help. There we go. Okay. So we're going to, let's see if we can grab this thing. Nope. There we are. We want to prioritize that. We want to remove this filter. So we're prioritizing in the this belt because we don't want those machines doing the x-ray uh, cracking to clog. The other uh, material, the other uh, energetic graphite from over there coming from the mine, that doesn't matter. We can stop that belt completely if we want to, really. So here... We're going to also get our hydrogen coming in. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to go over there and then click in there. And then we're going to do exactly the same with that. So we can prioritize the stuff coming in from here. Okay. Um, but here I would like to create uh, our tanks and do like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, sure. Or three, whatever. And that way we'll have some extra stuff to go around later. All right. That's unfortunate that we have that thing there. Oh, all right. I'll delete it. It's fine. Now then, that's fine. That's actually good. We're fine with this. We're fine with this. Oh, whoops. Okay. There we go. I deleted one too many, alas. All right. So this is what we've got. So now we have this x-ray cracking procedure, which should give us tons and tons and tons of hydrogen at the cost of one oil. And I think that's enough um, for this particular thing. In the next episode, we are going to get the um, organic crystals made and the plastic and all of that kind of stuff. Also, I hope you've caught my brand new documentary on Frozen Time. We had a cave situation where people were stuck in a very inconvenient place. So I hope you will check that out if you're interested in such things. Um, but anyway, I think we've made a lot of progress today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.